Hello, everybody. Welcome to my live. I know this is an odd time for me to, number one, be live. Um, and number two, it doesn't matter. We are going to have fun. Today, I am going to show you the In My Bones transfer, or Inside My Bones, whatever it's called. Inside My Bones. And I've got a couple projects that I want to make with this transfer. Here's a little peek at it. It's so cute. It says, hey, boo, if you've got it, haunt it. And then the bottom says, I've got this feeling inside my bones. So very cool. And of course, you have to sing the song while you're doing it, right? Oh, hi, Jane. Look at all, all of you guys who are here already. Hi, Jane and Linda and Dion and Kat. Hi, Beverly, Barbie, and Jennifer, and Mary, hello. Okay, so you caught me on my odd time. I missed um, multiple days because of my trip. Jessica and I were together Monday and Tuesday, and we're going to, we had plans to go live each day. And um, it kind of fell through, which is not like me. I know you guys know this. Um, but I am here today, so that is awesome. And I'm going to show you a really cool, fun project with this. Now, I told you that I have a couple project ideas for this. Number one being what I'm going to do today, which is a cool play on only these two elements right here. Hey, boo, if you've got it, flaunt it. And it's this character, this skeleton character here, okay? Um, also, I forgot to change this back. So I think I will um, put my face back over in the other corner. Whoops. There we go. Better. Okay. It might be cutting off my head, but sometimes it's okay. I know. There. Okay. So, um, so I want to do those two things, but with these guys here, I want to make a um, a banner, a swag, uh, um, whatever, a banner, swag. What am I trying? Garland. I want to make a Halloween garland. So I have a couple things. I have some cutouts that we're going to work with. The nine by nine box frame, that's what this shape is. Nine by nine box frame, the double sided. I'm using the brown side, but you could use the white side or we'll do both. Likely I'm doing Halloween on this, this side. On the other side, I will likely do fall so that after Halloween, I can flip it over and just have the fall until it's time for Christmas. Um, so... Um, okay, so let's let's get started on what we're gonna do. I have pulled out these cutouts. These are what I'm gonna make my garland out of. So I'm gonna put these aside and not use them tonight. That will be for another video. And today we're gonna use the words and this fun guy that I've already painted him in black velvet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the best way to paint this raw wood with our chalk paste. So I'm going to give it a spray with water and just, I literally just kind of smooth it around until it's all damp. And then I'm just going to pick up a little bit of our chalk paste and go to town. This is the easiest way I have found to get like a full coverage um, paint quickly. And it dries really quickly because it's not paint, it is our paste. 
And I'm sure a light coat of paint would also dry quickly. Um, oh man, so missing comments. Hi Sandra, hi Diane. Yes, you caught me live. Hi Bernadette. Hi Kimberly. Oh, thank you. This is a this is an older top. Life does happen, cat, and I can attest to that. Sometimes you just I don't know. You can plan and plan and plan and have the best of intentions and then sometimes, you know, I mean, I'm not opposed to working on my vacations, but also sometimes you just can't. All right, so I've painted this. I've got a good coat. I know that I'm, did I just paint the back of the shoot? So what I did was I accidentally painted the back of this and um, clearly an accident. That was practice. So what I'm gonna do is dry this so that I can flip it over and then we can paint the right side. I can't even believe it. I just noticed that. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Barbara Sellers in South Georgia. I will be down in Savannah, Georgia in not too long. Maybe about three or four weeks. Yeah, Cheryl, totally getting ready for Halloween. So here's the deal. When you are in the business of what I do and I, you know, I provide this service of video tutorials and live, um, you know, all this stuff and decorating and, and all of that um, education. I provide that service, but really my business is, of course, um, selling DIY home decor products. So if you want to sell seasonal home decor products, you have to show it months in advance because people have to be able to see it and then order it, get it shipped to their home, and then they have to have time to create with it in order to decorate with it during the season. So yes, it is August. Yes, I am teaching Halloween. Because by the time you get this and create with it, it's going to be September. And you're going to want to be decorating end of September, um, beginning of October, you know, for Halloween. So yeah, it's a... It is a, um, it's a dance that we do of timing, you know? We just have to get that timing right. And so we definitely are. I did some back to school stuff last week, which I still flipping love. Like I'm looking at my cute back to school things right now and they were adorable. We don't have like, there's not a ton of back to school stuff that we do. Um, but everything comes fast. Hi, Linda. Hello. I have like all these comments. I don't know why the comments. Barbara, first time watching me. Well, I appreciate you letting me know because that reminds me to tell everybody, if you're brand new, you are just checking this out for the first time, um, go ahead and comment VIP. That way I can send you a link to join in on my free group. It is a free crafting group and you're going to get ideas, inspiration, and insider information on everything that I do. This got a little bit watery on here, so um, it's a little less. Going along with the um, newbie conversation, if you would like a sample, go ahead and comment sample, and I will send you a link, and you can 
grab your sample from there. So I'm a little bit of mess, but I'm gonna clean this up. We'll get this dry. This is our quick dry tool, I love it. It is not a heat gun, it's not a heat tool. So if by chance you've ever heard someone call it a heat gun, it's not, there's no heating element in it. It's literally just blowing air. Um, it can feel warm at times, but a I'm gonna remind you, it's not a heat gun. You could not emboss with this. Anything that you use a heat gun for, um, it wouldn't work for that. It's, it's really just a drying tool. Um, it's not, uh, it has two settings. The first one is a lower speed of a blower, and the second one is the higher speed of the blower. Okay, good deal. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I just wanna get it cleaned so I can move forward. All right, I can't believe I did that. You guys ever do that? Sometimes I'm just not paying attention and I paint the wrong side, which is fine. All right, so my black is on. I do wanna tell you that in the description of this video, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, you're gonna find the Shop The Look link. That is the link to the products that I'm using today. You're gonna find the nine by nine box frame, the black and white chalk paste, as well as the glow in the dark paste, because we're gonna do a topper um, with the glow in the dark. And then the only thing you don't find in there, you're gonna find the tools also that I used, but you won't find any embellishments or extra things that I add. You're not gonna find um, these shape cutouts you will get the, tr you'll see the transfer, but not the wooden shape cutouts. Those can only be found in the Etsy shop called Creative Wood Cutouts Shop. Um, or you can find that uh, Facebook page, Creative Wood Cutouts Shop. And there are two S's right in a row. Creative Wood, oh no, no, I, I said it all wrong. I am a mess. Creative Wood Cuts shop. That's all it is. Four words. Creative woodcuts shop. Okay. Now I am going to chalk on these and I am going to do a bit of embellishing at the end, but let's get these chalked on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my transfer trimmers. Hi, Tracy Godby. Um, Jane, yes, so the wood cutouts are all from Creative Woodcuts Shop on Etsy. Uh, you can get there by going to Etsy and then searching Creative Woodcuts Shop or going to the Facebook page Creative Woodcuts Shop. I do think that if you go to the Facebook page that there's a link that you can get there. Um, but I can't honestly remember. Uh, but yes, so you'll find you'll find all of the all of the cutouts that I happen to use that will be all at that shop at that location. All right, I am just getting any excess off of there. Okay. Um, now I am going to do a little waxing, but I'm going to tell you that at this minute in time, our surface wax online is sold out. Have no fear, I have it here. That rhymes. Have no fear, I have it here. So if you are out of surface wax or you need some because you haven't ever purchased any and you would like to um, get that done, I'm waxing this because it's wood and it's really important to kind of give it a good um, finish before we place our transfer on it. It's surf surface wax, sold out online, but I've got it here. All right. Next thing I like to do is have a little light box. And since my light box is in some sort of limbo storage, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my 
iPad that has um, an app on it. I believe it's called My Light. And my, oh God, new comments. My Light is just like a giant flashlight app that will light up the whole surface of this. <sighs> of course, it needs to um, charge because why would I keep anything charged around here? I have chalk paste on it. I have a screen protector, but goodness. Well, it'll turn on as soon as it wants to. I guess I can do it without it. I'm getting better, you know. I'm gonna peel this back. And I'm gonna fuzz, 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 fuzz. Where's my fuzz cloth, everybody? Okay, here it is. And I'm just gonna fuzz this part right here. Hi, Karen. Thank you, Linda, for sprinkling. Cheryl, absolutely. Products are amazing. I know, surface wax does fly off the shelf if you. I got a big fuzzy on here and you don't want a big fuzzy because a big fuzzy could make a little wrinkle. All right, so that looks good. And I'm, I'm just gonna keep checking. Oh, yay, it's working. Like, I'm just gonna keep checking my light until it works. All right. Now, I just need to go to the app My Light. And then it turns all white, so it's like a little, um, There. I actually did a great job of putting it on upside down. Uh, I probably could put this on at the same time, but sometimes that doesn't work. Oh yeah, this is great. Good. It just kind of helps you see the outline of your skeleton. Perfect. And then you can take your light away or leave it there and chalk it. Because I'm going to chalk it with our white first. I'm gonna dry it and then I'm gonna re-chalk it um, with some of the glow in the dark, right? Glow in the dark. Maria, I did just get home. I got home, we got in, we flew in last night at Bruno Moon. Absolutely not. You are gonna need to stop, step away from that. <gasps> Um, we got back at midnight. Our plane came. Our plane came in at midnight. All right. So we're gonna do our white skeleton. He looks so cool, and I'm doing white so that he really does show up during the day. And then I'm gonna go over it with some of our glow in the dark paste because. That will show up at night. There we go. All right, so we got that done. And um, hey, Boo, you know what? 
Yeah, we're going to do it white. I kind of, you know how I usually have my neutral decor and then I have like colored decor. I, I do a couple, I do a couple different areas in my house for the same season or whatever. Well, this, if I do, it's going to be black and white and the, the brown from the box frame and from some of my embellishments that will go anywhere it will go in your like um black and red black and red Ugh. black and orange or your multicolored, which is gonna throw I'm gonna throw in like purple and green with the black and orange that is how I like to do Halloween all right, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and peel this up. So cool, you guys, it's so cool. And I'm gonna wash this. We're gonna set that aside. I'm just gonna wipe this down um, and get it kind of cleaned off. The white is pretty easy to clean. I'm just using a disinfectant wipe. You could also, I'll show you a couple other things. You could also give it a little spray of water, then get your board eraser. Now this is just stuck down to my mat. If you guys don't have this mat, I'm telling you, you need it for all your chalk messes. That's what I call it. It is the perfect chalk mess mat to contain everything, and it's washable. I love it. All right, so we're just going to give this a good wiping, and then we're going to reuse it as soon as I get it, everything dry. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to wipe this and then we're going to get the back side cleaned as well. After I'm done the second time, I'll go ahead and put this in some water and wash it that way. This is just my quickie wash so that I can use it again. I'm gonna tell ya what. Yeah, so the glow in the dark is charged by a light bulb or the sun, absolutely. Um, the more it's shown, the more, um, the more you see this, the more it's exposed. I can't talk, I have no words today. The more it's exposed to light or sun, the better the charge is going to be. So then at night, it will glow until, you know, it's until it's done. I don't really, I have not timed how long the glow lasts. All right, so we are ready to go again. Let's make sure these are dry. The mat is a necessity, 100%. Hi, Vanessa. Hello. Okay. I think I waited kind of long enough where these are pretty dry. Now, all I have to do, wink, wink, is line it up perfectly and do the glow in the dark. I have faith that I can do it. Just do exactly what I did before. All right. First trick, 
We're going to do one at a time. And I can see without the light where my letters are. So it's pretty easy on that end. Now, let's do this one. Oh boy. <gasps> Ooh, that like fell right into place. All right, now stay. And I'm gonna get my glow in the dark. Now, remember you guys, this glow in the dark paste, as amazing as it is, it's much more liquidy than its non-glow in the dark counterparts. So when I pick it up, I'm gonna be, well, I better do up here first. And it spreads really easily because it's liquidier. And remember you want that top that first coat of paste dry completely before you do this. Um, I also wanna tell you a couple things. If you're gonna put this on top of any, oh, I moved it a little, on top of anything that is Oh, it's fine anything that's a color other than white there is a little bit of pigment in this that does make it kind of a I'm gonna like a creamy oh like a pearly color you know like you can you can kind of see through it but at the same time it's not clear so what we noticed, if you um, use this on black, you can definitely, you can see a little bit of it, but it doesn't really change the color too much. I don't know, can you see that? That's when it's on black. But if you put this over, let's say the, um, the shimmer plum, like that purpley color, actually lightens the color. It lightens it a little bit. So just kind of know that there is a little bit of, like it's not crystal clear. If you think it's just going to be clear, you will be a little mistaken. All right, so that is done. We're going to clean this by throwing it into the water now and we'll get it all oh I just stuck it to itself oh good it's coming off it's been a long time since I've done anything like that so yeah I'm just washing this in a little bit of water with my board eraser um, front and back and then we'll let it dry on its own just kind of hanging it I kind of like hang it over the edge of my my water tub um Barbara this mat is just like it is a self-healing mat you can cut on it um and it's very much the same and it has that grid for measuring it's awesome. This is a full 18 by 24. It's actually a little bit larger than that. Um, and of course you can wash on it. It was storming here awful bad earlier, but it's good now. Okay. All right. I'm just like catching up on... Yeah. 
All right, so this needs to dry and I can turn off my light here. Um, will you do me a favor? Will you turn off all these lights for me? You don't have to do, well, yeah, turn them off now. And that way all I have to do is turn off my lights so that I can show the dark when this is all said and done. All right, let's get it dry. If you have just kind of tuned in, um, I'll let you know if you're new, you can comment the word VIP and I will send you a link to join my free group. I'll also show you how, or you can request to get a sample kit, a little, little mini sample kit that has a little transfer chalk paste squeegee and a little tiny surface that you can try this out all on your own. Oh, you guys, while I am drying this, I forgot to tell you about our um, special. In August, we have a special. We've invented a new color. It's called Very Perry, as in periwinkle. It's a dark periwinkle color. And so it's kind of a dark, it's kind of a purplish color. And it is not available for purchase. It's only available to earn for free this month when, and it's while supplies last. So um, if you are a club customer, you're gonna get a little bonus. Here's the special. All Club Couture customers, if you are one of my club customers, you spend $90 on, on my website, you're going to get a free Very Perry Chalk Paste. But if you spend $100, just $10 more, you're going to get a Very Perry Chalk Paste and one of my favorite tools, the Detail Tool, which is the super mini squeegee down here and the um, Pokey Tool at the top here. I use this almost every single time um, that I am crafting. I absolutely love it. So get this for free plus the chalk paste for free with a $100 order if you are a club member. If you're not a club member, you can still earn that chalk paste free with a $90 purchase. Your The Shop the Look cart tonight will totally qualify as long as your pre-tax um, subtotal is $90 um, or more or a hundred if you're a club member and you want the free detail tool. All right, so that's our special in August while supplies last. Now, I am going to yeah, because I think I want to put the embellishing down here. All right, so I'm gonna got my that was weird, I got like a poking sensation. Um, I'm gonna do some hot glue with my little guy who's haunting it. I've got it, haunt it, right? He's like doing this crazy move. Okay, and then hey boo. And I am going to raise this up a little so that I can create a fun. So what I've got here is a fun little. Thank you, Cheryl. Have a good night. Karen, you're up in Flint. Bye, Barbara. All right. So we're gonna make a fun little bow using let's see. I think we'll do six inch strips. 
So that means I'm just gonna take a bunch of ribbon. I actually have different sizes, different widths, and we're gonna cut this into six inch strips, one at a time. I will tell you something. I have so much Halloween slash just Halloween colored ribbon colors that I love to use. Um, second to only Christmas. Look at this fun zebra stripe, you guys. Oh, you cannot see. I got to move it up. I am like in love. I love all the animal prints. Of course, I have some traditional. I'm just using my mat to give me my sizes. And I use a pin, straight pin. There we go. So I just use this little pin and I put it in there and then it's just saved um, for the next time that I want to use it. And I'm gonna throw in a little bit of this because I love to do it. This is a black um, a, a black string. It's not jute. It's more along the lines of a baker's twine. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna cutting two strips. And then you can kind of unravel it. It's very fun. Fun and floppy. And then I'm going to put it all together with the jute. And I'm going to use the jute color because it matches here. And I do have um, a little bit of that brown color in there too. I don't know how much I will use of that, but we'll cut off a bunch. Okay. So to make a messy bow... You just layer your ribbon like so, and your string, just kind of line it up and layer it so that you have a center, and that's what we're gonna, that's how we're gonna tie it together. You can use um, a little, here are mine. Zip tie. If you ever, you could use like a little zip tie to cinch it up and make it really tight, cut off the extra, or you can just tie it with one of these, um, which is what I'm gonna do. But the little cable zip ties work really great for different crafting things. So I'm just going to kind of pinch this together and tie it. This is where I always am like, oh, I need somebody's finger. There we go. Oh, I pulled one of these through. So just carefully tuck it back in before it's too tight. and then really give it a good yank. And then go ahead and do a double knot. And then that double knot, you pull your string sideways and it's gonna become part of your decor. So you can trim that off to be right where um, the rest of this is. And then just kinda open this up. And what we're gonna do is unravel these, unravel your jute. This jute right here has three, like, like it's braided in threes. And you could unravel even that even more, but I don't need to. I just like to do the initial unraveling. It's one of my signature looks, I think when I'm doing a messy bow. You can also unravel the white and the black. 
And if you have a hard time getting that going, getting that unraveled, my trick is to take our detail tool, take the cap off the pokey part, and just kind of get in there and start to peel that apart. Get the little strings going. It works really well. And you can do that with all of them. If you didn't get your knot tight so that the little strings might be like loose, I'm gonna show you what to do. Just, we'll just take a little tiny dab of glue and put it in there so that all of this stuff kind of stays right in the center of where you want it to be. And then, literally, I'm just kind of peeling this open. And I'm going to slap it on like a bow tie. I don't even need, I can do more adjusting. I kind of want to keep it inside the box. It can come out, but I want to be able to put this flat down so that when I do my fall, on the other side at a later date, it will be okay. So there, to so when we were in New York, maybe this is why I'm like black and white, but we saw the Broadway play Beetlejuice, very fun. Um, so this kind of reminds me of that because of like his little black and white outfit. <clears throat> but this is really cute. I'll go ahead and hold this up for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right, so very cool. This is um, our Hey Boo. I'm going to turn off some lights. And we'll show you. Hopefully Emma will help me out and turn off the bathroom light. It looks like you haven't set up any home kit accessories. <sighs> Not Siri, I said Emma. Ooh, isn't that cool? It glows in the dark. It glows in the dark. Uh, it's still light here. Oh yes, Emma, perfect. It's still light out, <laughs> so you're getting a little bit of that light, but look how cool. All right, we can turn our lights back on. Thanks, Emma. But that is it in a nutshell. Hi, Carolyn. Let me turn my other light back on. I'm loving that um, glow in the dark. So if you have any questions, let me know now. Otherwise, this is a fun project. Definitely does remind me of Beetlejuice. Um, and my other three shaped guys are going to go on to a Halloween, um, swag garland thing that I make in the future. I'm kind of wishing I painted the outline black. I may do that later. All right, you guys. Have an amazing night. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Karen. Remember that you can shop the look by clicking on the description and the name, and you can find the wood cutouts at the Creative Woodcut Shop on Etsy or Facebook. You just have to search Creative Woodcuts Shop two S's in there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have an amazing rest of your night. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Bye guys.